Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is your sixth lesson on Server Plus. And uh, this is a lesson on configuration that could just basically go on and on and on. There's a lot of rich and interesting things here. And of course, one of the things you want to be able to do in this chapter is install different server systems and play around with them and configure them, such as uh, Novell and Windows 2000 and Linux. And uh, one of the things you want to do here, of course, is read the chapter six in the book. Then go ahead and read the notes and watch the videos and complete the questions. And so let me quickly go through the outline here. I have 10 questions for you to complete for homework. And then we're going to look at configuring uh, BIOS and flashing. What BIOS means and why you need a BIOS, for example, or to flash it. And what happens if you ruin a BIOS, how do you fix it? Of course, we're going to look at RAID again, so make sure you understand the uh, different types of RAID and what they do. And we're going to start talking about network operating systems and file systems. Very important to understand those. And here's a little image of a uh, server software system. Then we, want to, then we want to get into some of the addressing uh, concepts, such as uh, common network protocols and the application layer and TCP, and addressing formats, binary math, and definitely need to understand submasking. Make sure you go through those and watch those. Addressing technologies, and you want to know the difference between IP4 now and IP6. Then we're going to look at command line tools, and make sure you understand the command line tools fairly well. The book does a little bit of a write-up on it. And, of course, Professor Messer handles that as well, so make sure you look at his video on that. And a little bit more about updating uh, network operating drivers, and you're going to be able to work with drivers. A little bit about SNMP. You want to understand backing up software, working with antivirus, uh, system monitors, event logs, and server operating systems, of course. And also, very important, learning how to establish a baseline for your uh, server. Now, we're going to get right into uh, Novell uh, Netware, and I get a whole history of uh, basically Netware here, so make sure you go through that and read all about it. I'm just taking you from the beginning, and, and you go through the history of how it's evolved. And in that section, I actually go through all the different types of Netware, so you want to actually look at that in detail. So there's a lot of material here. Then we go through Unix and Linux, and in this uh, chapter, we're actually going to show you how to install uh, Linux on VBox, so you can actually start working with different servers on VBox and playing around with them. A little bit about the history of Linux, and here's some of the uh, major new GUIs that you use with Linux. Linux used to be very unfriendly as far as users are concerned, and now you're seeing some of these beautiful window-like GUIs that are appearing and are making it much more easy to use. And so it's just a little bit of a history here. There's tons of Linux uh, articles on the web. You can learn Linux so easily now. And finally, we're going to go through a whole section on Windows Server 2003-2008. Uh, Got to familiarize yourselves with those servers. Sometimes you'll even be using 2000, depending on how old your server is and what's on it. Sometimes, you know, do you go by the old adage, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So uh, just make sure you know how to work with the servers that you are working with on your particular uh, uh, hardware systems. And with that done, you should begin you know, playing around with these different operating systems, get these disks and, uh, and load them on different servers or on VBox, for example, and play around with them and learn how they work. Uh, a little bit of information on Hyper-V, so make sure you understand that. There's a question on that. And then a whole lot about the Windows Systems Resource Manager, and I go into the core of Windows and how it was developed and, all, and how the operating system evolved. So make sure you go through all this information, and once you do that, you should be up to speed on configuring and working with uh, server systems. So... Uh, once again, make sure that you uh, read Chapter 6 of the textbook, uh, read the notes, watch the videos, and complete the questions below. So I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.